Steve's Backyard Bike and Car Repair Tips, sponsored by Top Coat F11. Hey guys, welcome back to Steve's Backyard Bike and Car Repair Tips. Uh, I got the Dyna here behind me, and uh, as you can see, I've stripped the fairing off of it. I think I got my uh, my bags down here on the ground. I'm going to be giving it a really thorough cleaning, but before I do that, I'm actually going away next weekend. And uh, before I go, I'm going to be going on about a three-hour ride to get to where I'm going. I just want to make sure that my bike is uh, tip-top and ready to go. So I thought I'd share with you some of the things I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm not actually going to go through and do them as we do the videos. It's just a quick video. Number one, obviously, check your tire pressures. Make sure everything's good. Inspect your tires. Look for cracks. You know, uh, any bald spots, any weird wear on them. Um, I'm going to actually be lubing up my throttle cable. Now, I did my service not too long ago, so... I'm not going to be going through and adjusting the clutch. I'll make sure that there's the proper amount of play in that. But, I mean, I've only ridden it twice since I did a service on the bike with a clutch adjustment and whatnot. Um, not really needed. Uh, obviously, check all your fluids. Make sure everything's uh, good. Make sure your transmission and uh, make sure your oil. Obviously, check it on the jiffy stand if it needs it or upright, depending on what your bike is called for. Um, check on your drive back here. Let's see if we can get it to light up back here. Yeah. So, uh, you have your gauge to check your allowances right here. Harley's nice enough to show you your, your tolerances. So go through and check that. It's 5 eighths wrench here. Check all your drive sprocket, because apparently on the Dynas, this is something that is common that can back off. So go around with a 5 eighths wrench. You don't want to reef on them. You just want to make sure they're snug. Um, you don't want to end up stripping them, because then you're into a whole mess with your hub being stripped and whatnot. Um... Once again, back tire, I'm going to go through my pressures and whatnot. Just a general loop, you know, anything that uh, anything that needs a, a grease or, a, a, you know, even just a little shot of lube just for, uh, just for ease of mind. Even down to your kickstand if you want to, you know, put some on your spring and whatnot. Um, check your lights. Check, uh, check your handlebars. Check everything. Just go through and make sure everything is tip-top and ready to go. And uh, make sure you're safe for the road. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and then once I'm done that, I'm actually going to be peeling this bike down a little bit more and start polishing it. And I'm going to try out my Top Coat F11. So that'll be in an upcoming video. And uh, I just thought I'd share this with you. And uh, I'll let you know, uh, actually, before I go here, the tools that you need on these Harleys, most common are your half inch, your 9 16 uh, wrenches, 5 eighths wrench on your Dynas, um, T25, T27, uh, you're going to get into, uh, let's see what I got here, 3 16 Allen key, quarter inch, um, if you're going to check your linkage, which doesn't hurt to check your linkage, make sure that there's, uh, you're not going to strip it, way down in here, I can't even really get a view of it with the camera but uh there is a uh, quarter inch allen key that should be checked and then uh, just go through the rest of your linkage make sure everything's good you don't want to strip your shifter linkage out on the road and then you're in for a whole lot of fun all right guys well uh i will check back with you very soon as i uh start cleaning my bike up so uh if this has been helpful for you for you give me a thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribe and uh, tap that bell if you want to know when I put up more content. Thanks, guys. Cheers.